Hello, are you struggling to keep your signature looking good on the electronic documents that you need to sign? Well, stick around because in today's video, we are looking at how to save your signature so that you can use it to sign any document on your Mac. Now, if you're just new and checking out Back On Stage app, we are a web platform for blue collar musicians, bands, and DJs who want an alternative to all the messy spreadsheets, email chains, and text threads that you've been so used to living with. We are a live music booking management software that helps you generate revenue and gig more by combining lead generation, client follow-up, invoices and contracts, invoice tracking, income tracking rather, musician scheduling and payouts, set lists, and so much more into one easy to use app. All you have to do is head over to backonstageapp.com to learn more and start your 30 day free trial. So let's jump back to today's theme. So we are looking at how to apply signatures to contracts and invoices or any other document that you are receiving on your uh, computer. So possibly you've got contracts coming in and you are signing them like this. Maybe you've got a image of your signature and you're just dropping it onto documents. That doesn't look the greatest. So maybe you want a signature that looks a little more like this. Looks like you actually signed the document. So. In Mac, there's a really handy feature that allows you to actually capture your signature. So what we're gonna do first is capture the signature on our Mac, and then we're going to apply that signature to a document that's got a transparent background so that we can save that and use it anywhere, like in a Word doc, a Pages doc, Excel numbers, whatever you need to apply that to. So the first step, like I said, is to capture your signature. So I'm just gonna close out of these two examples here. And I've already done it in here, but what I'm gonna show you here is when you open up any file, so actually the first thing you're gonna to need to do is in the description to this video, you need to download our transparent rectang rectangle rather and <laughs> backdrop. Once you download that, you are going to open it up and make sure you open it in preview. So on Mac, right click, go open with and hit preview. Once that opens up, you wanna to come to tools annotate signature and then manage signatures. Once you're in here, click create signature. Now from this page, you wanna hit camera and you wanna sign a white piece of paper and then you're just gonna hold it up in front of your camera until it is captured to your liking. And it doesn't seem to wanna to be doing this for me right now. Let's try this again. <laughs> it had it for a second there. Usually it's a little more reliable than that. So hit the camera, try this again. There it is, that's captured. I'm liking that, I'm gonna hit done. So now that we have our signature in here, you can see I've already dragged it onto this canvas here, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is go annotate again, signature, and choose one of those signatures, and then just stretch it so it takes up the entire canvas. Now obviously I've already done that on this one, so I'm just gonna uh, erase that. Once you've stretched it to fill your entire canvas, hit File and Save, or just Command S. Now, once we've got that saved, for example, I'm gonna come back over to this Pages document. Now, if I wanted to drop a signature on there, all I'd have to do is open my Finder grab that transparent right rectangle, which you can just rename now to my signature because that's what it is. I've already got one there, it won't let me do that. So transparent rectangle, drag that onto pages. Now, depending on the program you're in, you may need to adjust this a little bit so it doesn't move with your text. I'm gonna do that really quickly here. And then you can drag it wherever you need it. Resize it however you want and you don't have that ugly image backdrop um, like we did before. So that's how to get it into any format so you can drop it into any program. And of course, inside back on stage, if you're gonna use this contract or use this signature rather to sign your contracts and invoices that you're sending to your clients, all you need to do is open the contract creator inside our booking creator here. And down at the bottom where you upload a signature, for example, I've already got this is the old one I have here, which doesn't look great. It's looking like that. So this is inside our client portal in back on stage where your clients can come and sign as well. That doesn't look great, as you can see with that image uh, backdrop there. So I'm gonna upload my new transparent rectangle signature that I just created. 
once I save that, now when I head over to my client portal, if I just refresh this, there you go. I've got that beautiful looking signature in there. And if I download a copy of this contract, we'll see that that looks really nice too if I open that up. There it is, looking great at the bottom. So that's how to capture your signature on a Mac so that you can use it anywhere on any document or upload it to any website that you need to use it for. Hope that helps. Again, if you wanna check out Back On Stage App for your live music, performance, bookings, and contracts, check out backonstageapp.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see